Huh? I'm going to tell it like it is because I'm talking the words of my daughter-in-law, Justice. I love her. Hi. My name's Justice Grau, and I'm a graduate student at the UW-Milwaukee and member of the Wisconsin Poor People's Campaign and proud mother of a two-year-old. I have my associate's and bachelor's degree, yet my family and I are still living in scarcity. The Build Back Better plan is crucial to support families like me, who did everything on paper to build a better future and still get the short end of the stick. Child care costs in Wisconsin is extremely high. Without my student discount, it'd be over $1,000 oh. per month for one child. Ooh. This is the same amount people are paying for a one-bedroom apartment. People shouldn't have to choose between child care and a roof over their heads. Yes. It should be universal. Yeah. We've been using the child tax credit to pay for child care. If that expires, we'd have to consider getting another job. We already work full-time, and I study 15 hours a week, so there'll be no time to come home and just be a mom. If our politicians fail to keep their promise and let this bill die, they'll be failing millions of families and low-income people. Right, bill Back Better is also about pre-K. Making pre-K universal is a win-win for everyone, yeah. no matter what party you belong to. It's one less bill you have to worry about because we live in such a money-hungry society. My son will be four in a couple of years going to pre-K. If I knew this would be guaranteed, we could focus on extracurricular activities he likes, like swimming. Wow. Mm. Or do anything he wants because he should have a fulfilled childhood. Amen. It seems like the cost of basic needs goes up every year. Like tax season, it comes every year. Yet, our minimum wage is still seven twenty-five. You simply can't survive on that. Nope. All of the scarcity is unnecessary because yes. we know the money's there yes. to prevent this. They just increase the military budget. Yep. Without a compromise. Yep. However, we're still debating a bill that will lift people out of poverty. Yep. And the people and corporations hoarding the money need to pay their dues. When I say this, I don't mean my neighbors who make a little bit more than us, but the 1%. Great. So, Senator Johnson and Senator Baldwin, but really all political parties who have a responsibility to the people, say that's it. why you are in office. Say yes. it! We demand you back this bill. Why wouldn't you? Politicians approach it as an expense, when in reality, it's an investment for all of us, for yes. me for my son, and for generations to come. Yes. Woohoo! I want to say, let's do a chant, okay? It goes like this, the system, let's stop it, our lives are not for profit. The yes. system, let's, let's stop, stop it. it, our lives are not for profit. The system, the system. Let's, let's stop it, our lives are not for profit. I love you, Justice. You can say that too, we love you, Justice.